Dust generated by brake wear is worse for your lungs than diesel fumes and EVs have the potential to kill it off almost completely. Everybody knows that EVs are better for local air quality because they don't have tailpipe emissions. A big EU study found that EVs can produce up to 83% less brake dust compared to gas cars, while plug-in hybrids cut it by 66% and hybrids anywhere from 10 to 48%. This is all thanks to regenerative braking, which uses the electric motor to slow down the vehicle instead of the friction brakes. Many EVs have what is known as one pedal driving, which means they provide braking force comparable to actually applying the physical brakes and can come to a complete stop without you touching the brake pedal. The amount of brake pad dust generated through wear depends a lot on how much an electrified vehicle's braking is done through the electric motor and how much the friction brakes are still needed. Not all EVs allow for one pedal driving, but if yours does, use it to make your brakes last, well, potentially forever and also help make the air around you a whole lot cleaner. All vehicles built on the Volkswagen Group's MEB platform, even the high-performance models with over 300 horsepower, have rear drum brakes. VW deemed that between most of the braking being done through the front axle and the vehicle's strong regenerative braking, there was no need to have discs on the rear. Having drum brakes also completely eliminates any kind of brake wear emissions. And now Mercedes wants to take it a step further with its concept for in-drive brakes. These are disc brakes that live inside the same housing as the electric traction motor. The manufacturer argues that with more powerful regenerative braking, replacing your brake pads won't be a typical maintenance item anymore. So it's putting the discs and calipers inside specifically to eliminate brake dust emissions. These fine particulates are harmful to your health as once inhaled, they enter your lungs and then your bloodstream and are very difficult to get rid of, causing a whole plethora of health issues. Even though they are suspended in the air, they eventually fall to the ground but are stirred up by the air movement of cars driving around them as well as other things like the very powerful cooling fans that spin into life when you plug your EV into a DC fast charger.